wanted to be on one of these teams for a long time. Today was your first match. Did it live up to uh, everything you thought it might be? Yeah, even this morning lived up to it. I woke up this morning and felt like I had to throw up for three hours straight. Um, <laughs> it's the most nervous I've been ever before any round of golf in my entire life. Um, I just think it's the anticipation of wanting to be on these teams for so many years and missing out and, and to finally make one. And, and so um, when I finally started warming up, that feeling finally went away, and uh, yeah, it lived up to everything that I expected. And um, to see this guy right here perform at the end there was, was truly special. I was going to ask, you know, you have a lot of holes coming down the stretch, and then Max, obviously. Question for both of you guys: Max obviously hit the two big putts. Feel like you, you know, ham and egged it, I guess, pretty well. Yeah, I think we hammed and egged it pretty well today. I felt bad; I missed a couple putts early on number seven and number um, number eleven to to you know have the holes. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it was one of those things where we, I don't feel like we were getting our favorite breaks out there today. I hit um, a shot that hit a sprinkle headed, you know, just off the fairway and bounced 30 yards left into the trees. And, and uh, they hit a couple of shots that they got away with. But I felt like we were just hanging in there, hanging in there. And I, I just knew Max was going to show up at some point. And I just kept, you know, saying, hey, it's your time. You're going to hit some good shots here. Do your thing. And, and it was wa awesome to watch him last few holes. Yeah, uh, we, I, I thought we played solid uh, for, for the first nine holes uh, and kind of did what we were supposed to. And then they, they started playing some great golf and making some birdies, and we just couldn't get a putt to fall. Uh, I felt like I was personally playing like a little defensive and just trying to make sure that we were on the green. Uh, and I just kept feeling like I had 20, 25 feet. Uh, but it, swing felt really good all day, so it was nice that, you know, Billy made two enormous putts on 14, and even the short one on 15, those were really big, because I was out of the hole, and, um, you know, or actually, well, I had the, a putt, as Joe said, that would not have been a fun one to hit, had Billy missed on, uh, on 14, so it was nice to, that he could keep us in it, and then, um, you know, I, I felt like I was freed up, because he did that coming in, uh, and, and was able to, to make a couple uh, on those last two. Michael, next. Billy, you talked about even last night feeling like you were going to throw up all night. And I said something to see Woo Kim when he said about how he never felt nerves like that either. So I'm curious, when did the nerves finally go away from you, for you, on the golf course? And then Max, what was it like watching Billy with his first experience being out on the golf course? Yeah, I'm always sort of anxious, nervous for around the golf. Um, now doing it for 14 years professionally it's not too bad because i've been in every scenario there is uh so this is the first time being a part of this and and everything so it was really when i woke up this morning last night i was fine but this morning waking up you know i was working out and <laughs> i kept you know checking myself a little bit um but usually it all goes away when i finally start warming up and that's what it did when we got here and, and i started hitting putts it all dissipated and uh I was good to go the rest of the day, and I honestly felt very comfortable out there all day long. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's nice that it's finally, I've got that under my belt, and hopefully I won't feel that way tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really fun watching Billy. Obviously, uh, you know, I had my first yesterday, so I knew what it, uh, it feels like, and it's an exciting thing. It, it's really cool. Uh, so to be able to walk those fairways with Billy, uh, you know, I know he's a high, high, uh, high motor guy, <laughs> as they say. Um, but when he hit his bunker shot on one, I mean, Billy's a gamer. Uh, he's a guy you want to play with. He's a competitor, and he's clutch as can be. So um, I knew he was going to be uh, in his environment. We'll go to Dan next. And for Justin and Jordan, you guys are two of the more experienced players on this team now. And with how big of favorites you guys were coming in and, and now with the start that you guys are off to, up 8-2, to two, what's, what's the message in the team room tonight? Is there a target number, or how do you keep the pedal to the metal? I think we just keep doing what we're doing. I think Davis has done an unbelievable job of, um, you know, very, very similar um, to Strick. The whistling straights last year, he understands he has 12 really, really good players. And, you know, he, he's taking information in that he needs and sees fit. But he fully understands and, and thinks that we are capable of playing well enough on the course. And he, it's almost just kind of like a stay out of the way type thing. And this is when you're playing and just make sure you get to the tee on time kind of thing. And um, so he's been great. All the captains have been great in terms of for what we can do. We just have to keep playing golf. We have to keep, you know, the pedal to the metal and, and just try to get as many points as we can win each session. And, and, you know, every single person on our team that goes out tries to win a point. 
And, uh, you know, if, if we all do that, then it'll be good enough. Thanks. Except to, Dylan. I was just saying, get to 15 and a half as quickly as you can. Uh, uh, Max, I was wondering if you could just take us through that feeling standing over that last putt and then watching it go in. Yeah, uh, it, it was pretty surreal. Just um, the, the atmosphere out there is insane. Uh, there's so many people you can feel them on, on the back of your uh, neck. And, you know, getting to, I feel very thankful. Uh, you know, I'm not super, super close with anybody on this team, uh, but I have always respected and gotten along with everybody. And it's been amazing to watch you know, these 11 other guys who are incredibly good, uh, incredibly acclaimed, so many accomplishments, cheering us on coming down the stretch. You know, I've been in the last match both days and to be able to see that is special for me. Um, it, it's stuff that, you know, the golf's amazing, but you, you remember that kind of stuff uh, well into your days. Um, so feel very thankful for that. And I mean, I was nervous as could be over that putt, but it was fun and, you know, I was telling my wife, uh, when, when we talk about things money can't buy, money cannot buy that feeling. And that was something that, uh, that I will remember forever and I will tell anybody who ever wants to hear about it how that felt. <laughs> you, you said earlier this week you don't do fist pumps. So what was that on 17 and 18? Um, I don't think I've said I don't do fist pumps. That You've might have been, been Cam Young since college. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, one time JT almost punched me in the face with the uppercut fist pump. <laughs> so he showed me how to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you might have been thinking of Cam Young. I think he just, he just grins when something good happens. <laughs> Next up, Dave. Yeah, uh, for Jordan and, and Justin, this might, this might be a bit of a reach, but... Is there any carryover from the Ryder Cup for you two guys as far as that feeling of a, a great win and, and then just when you step on the golf course here, it's like, wait, I, we kind of remember that feeling and carry uh, it over. Us specifically or the team in general? No, you two specifically. Yeah. Um, you know, let's see, we played in Paris and then we played in the last uh, Ryder Cup as well, so... It's a it's a comfort thing. I mean, we Justin mentioned it yesterday. He uh, a number of times after the round that you know we know each other's games about as well as we know anybody's game. And uh, in a four sums format, we understand that wherever we hit it, the other one's probably capable of hitting it there as well. And then getting out of trouble, we wouldn't choose anybody else um, in the world to get out of trouble and figure out a way to make a par and. Um, and then when we're on, you know, we can dial it up and, and really get hot. And we've just wanted to play four ball. We wanted to play four ball in the Ryder Cup. And we thought that that would be our best format. And we weren't put together in the Ryder Cup in four ball. We got mixed up um, a couple times. And so that was pretty fun today to, to ham an egg. And, and really, you know, we just did a great job of making a lot of birdies on different holes, just what you need to do, and, and not making any bogeys or giving them any holes. So um, it was... I mean, we just had a lot of fun from the first hole on today. There's a lot. I mean, there was a lot of a lot of smiling. I mean, in, in best ball, you can do that, right? You you can take chances. The other guy can pick you up a little easier, and um, so we had a blast. We got time for a few more, Jason. Max, you've started making a habit of winning over the last couple of years. I'm not asking you to pick or choose, but how does the feeling today on that final green compare with some of the feelings you've had after wins? A hundred times better. <laughs> uh, it's a, uh, you know, I, I, I am very close with my personal team, Joe, uh, Mark, uh, all, everybody, and you, you feel like, you know, you have this little nucleus that relies on your, you know, your good play. Um, but th this is different. You got captains that have won majors. You have players who have won multiple ma majors. You have the best golfers on planet Earth relying on you and to show up and show out for them is just nothing like a regular golf tournament um you know i i haven't had much success in majors um but i, I can't even imagine that that feeling right there w would compare um obviously you know goals and whatnot are to succeed at the highest level in the biggest moments and uh some come with you know trophies and and 
all that, but uh, I, I wanted to be out here to help represent my country best I could and help represent these guys best I could. So uh, this to me is uh, top of the top. Final two questions, Bob and then Rex. Uh, mine's for Jordan. Jordan, obviously you guys were heavily favored, but is still, is there any surprise at all that the margin is this big at this point? I mean, not when you look in the team room at the players that are, you know, what we're capable of doing as a team, but you just don't know exactly what's, you can't control what they're going to do, right? And it just seems that in those pivotal, pivotal moments, yesterday for us on that 15th hole, we had another one today on the 15th hole, you know, the end of the match, Taylor makes that putt on them, and then Max steps up and make it these, these moments where, you know, matches flip, and uh, it just seems like we've been on the right side of those for the margin to be where it's at. But, I mean, the guys in our, on, our, on our team have played incredible golf this week. There's been some fantastic scores, and this is not an easy golf course. So the level of play has just been fantastic, and um, it, you're going to get those moments when you're two down and, or you're, you're two up and it can, you know, it can go to even pretty quickly or you can you know, boost that back to two or three up. And I, can, you know, I don't know what everyone's match you know, was like today, but you know, we had a couple moments like that where we just ended up on the right side of it. And um, that's, what, that's what these tournaments come down to, is a hole here and a hole there in each match. Last one here, Rex. JT, you've played a lot of golf with, with Jordan, obviously, but does anything he ever do on the golf course surprise you, like some of the things he did late coming down the stretch? Today? I was nothing. I've, I'm not even like remotely close to, sure some, to some Jordan Spieth golf that I've seen before. Um, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I've said this in, in um, at team events before in the past. I mean, it's everybody in different scenarios, but it is just really, really nice having Jordan as a partner and him being over a 20, 25 footer and actually being on his team or, or seeing him in a bunker and him being on my team. You know what I'm saying? Like there's just, I'm very, I've love him to death, but I'm, I'm no, I'm not rooting for them every single shot over the course of the entire year. And this week to be able to do that uh, is nice. And, but no, anything and everything he does on the golf course does not surprise me. And, um, I've seen crazier, that's for sure. I think when my ball bounces out of the water, I got a little different reaction from him than I would normally get in a tournament. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I'm, yeah, I was happy, but at the same time, I, it's Jordan. I was kind of pissed it didn't stay on the green. Like, I feel like I very, very well could have stayed on the green, but, um, you know, you got to take what you get, I guess. Appreciate the time as always.